Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me and today we are going to be looking at my Never Hub. Now my name's Kino and we're here in the main base in Kalapolis. But we're doing something very different today because we're not staying in the overworld for the first time ever. We're going to drop into the Never and I'm going to show you our amazing Never Hub. Now to get to the Never from my main base, we drop into the water here and we go through this secret passage into what my kids have termed as the cave of wonders now i suppose the only wonder is how this fish is still alive i suppose but that is the cave of wonders so from here we're going to jump into the never and when we get to the other side we're in this never box and this is the main part of my never hub from here we can transport to any part of the overworld where i've set up a transportation system using the ice roads I like the design of this, I like purple, purple's my favourite colour and I wanted to keep it consistent so we've got the purple going through with the deep slate tiles. And this is the same all the way around this never hub. And all the time we're inside this, this is safe. And this side here is the only side that we haven't got an ice road and this takes us to this old never fortress. And this never fortress isn't great, I was lucky to spawn here, however this is actually bugged. What you can see of this Never Fortress is all there is. There's no inside section. So coming here to get Never Skulls and Never Skeletons and Never Wart was absolutely useless. So I did have to go and find another one about 2,000 blocks away. As you can see, as we move down here, this is it. This is my Never Fortress. I thought I'd hit the jackpot, but unfortunately not. So I built a Never Hub. A system of moving around the never safely. And we started off just sort of in this section. And oh, I think I'm going to go inside before this ghast actually kills me because I'm almost certain he just shot me there. But this bit here is the only part that hasn't got an ice road. And it's got sort of a small storage area. Now I've made the whole lot out of this glazed terracotta and this purple glass and these deep slate tiles because that's the colour palette I liked. And we kept the soul lanterns because it's the never and it's supposed to be a bit sinister. Here in the shulker boxes, we keep a few little things that we might need when we're going on our travels, but the rest of it is just a hub system. Now at this way, we go down to an island which I found previously, um, which I was gonna do some building, but I haven't had a chance yet. And really sure when I'm going to um, but I'm sure we'll go there at some point fairly soon this side haven't built anything yet uh, there is some overworld buildings out this way so we will build here soon possibly I'm not sure maybe it's just a balcony who knows and this is the side we use the most but for now we're gonna go over this side where we haven't got the ice road and just sort of show you around a little bit and, and obviously we've been out that way to the fortress this is the storage I was telling you about. These stay here for the whole time. They've got a few bits in case I need to extend the ice roads or anything. But if we drop down, all the way down here. Now building this was quite fun because I had to drop sand down here to try to block the lava off. And then really quickly replace the sand with glass until we made this tunnel. And at the bottom, we come across here. This used to be just a, a crude kind of never act staircase. But this is my mining area, and these are my bed mines, strip mines, TNT mines, whatever you like to call them. And these go for thousands of blocks in all kind of directions. And this is where we get all the Neverite stuff. Now this one here was a failed experiment, because this one I mined with TNT. I didn't find a thing. I went for ages, not a thing. In fact, now I think about it, this one didn't as well. So maybe that's something to do with the kind of bugged fortress that was upstairs because um, that was that side I think uh, out this way is another fortress that's about 5,000 blocks um, I have kind of made it all the way there but I've also got a hub road that leads to it which is a lot safer and that's the way we kind of use so that's my mining area and uh, then I will carry on mining there if I need to but I've got three full sets of fully enchanted never right armor at the moment so I can't see any reason why I would drop down there in the near future. But who knows, the way 
I go through elytras and drop in the lava and my kids do, it's probably not going to be long. But anywho, we go back to the main hub. So this is the central area that goes to my main base. We use these ice roads and the ice boats to get around. Now I will be putting ice in all the gaps because I've noticed that a few things do spawn in the gaps. Um, I was just being a bit tight at the time, to be honest. But when we get to a junction, there's buttons on the floor which slow us down. And we can use these to determine whether we're going to turn or whether we're not. But we glide all the way over this way, and this is why I want to show you, because I've got something pretty cool. This is the main way that I used to come, because down there is my end portal. But we're not going to go there just yet, because up here you can see that everything's kind of uniform, and it's the same, and we're safe, and we're protected, and just realised I haven't got any gold on. Oh dear. But, anyway, we go through this secret door here, and we come out in a jagged area. Now over there we've got a bastion remnant which I've kind of raided and nicked all the gilded blackstone uh, but just over this side we can see I'll get a view oh oh dear I've upset the locals um, oh no they're still chasing right okay I am gonna have to kill you and you and stop running away right that sorts that out as I was saying if we get over here and we turn around I've built a Never Dragon. Now I like the Ender Dragon, as you can tell by my logo, but this is a Never Dragon. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I built that uh, from scratch, and uh, my own design. I know it's not the greatest, but it made a cool door. So there's a button there, and that brings us back to the Never Hub. And I quite liked it. Plus that area is where I mine most of my quartz, and I kind of strip mine the whole lot around there to get the quartz. So there's a nice way in and out. As I say, all the way down the bottom here, this is my end portal. Now, I'm not going to take you through there, because I'm going to do a showcase on the end very, very soon. So for now, you're just going to have to take my word for it, and believe me that that is the end portal. But if we go back up here, we can come back onto the ice road, and I'm going to show you one other place for now. Don't think we need to go to all of the places, because I'll probably just bore you to death, in all honesty. But I want to show you one more, just to show how the design stays the same, but I kind of tweaked it in each little area. And these are the same for all over the place, all the different stations, if you like. But I've changed them so they're all individual. Now, all the way down there is my new fortress. That's where I get all my wither skeletons and wither skulls. And it's pretty cool out there, to be honest. And down that end there, we've got another fortress or two. And we've got a way to get to the jungle temple. Which I don't think I've shown any of you guys just yet. But for now we're going to take this turn in here. We're going to go in. And you can see that it's very slightly different. This one's a double story station or stop or entrance. Um, but it doesn't need to be anything too fancy. I didn't want to spend a lot of time here. I just wanted it to be something that looked pretty cool. And that was convenient for me to get around. And fast because you move eight times faster in the never than you do in the overworld when you get down the bottom these are all the same again you've got the gilded blackstone and the portal now back at the main base here we are going to show you what it used to be like because believe it or not this wasn't here when i spawned this took a long long time but when i spawned in the never i didn't actually spawn over that lava lake I was all the way up here, and as you can tell by my amazing engineering here with the sand and neverack, we'll jump up this fantastically built staircase. Please go along with it, just just trust me. Um, but we go along this staircase that had to be sand because I needed a way to get down from this ledge, and this was where my first never portal came out. This bit here on this kind of island floating up in the sky. Immediately when I spawned, I could see the Never Fortress, so I thought I'd hit the jackpot. You can see over here, that's why I had to drop the sand down, because when I fell, I died. And I think I did that twice, by accident. But well, there we go. I'll probably do it again. Now, I've built some walkways that go out that were supposed to go places, but then I found the elytras and such like. So I didn't need to anymore. But um, this one... 
does give you a view of the fortress and you can just see that is it and that's what i mean by it being bugged it doesn't go much further than the hill just over there and you can see one or two wither skeletons but it was absolutely useless for for getting the skulls and even for the never walk now the first hub transportation system i had in the never was up this staircase here now we've got a recurring theme you can see that i've designed this one just as spectacularly as the first one in uh, this lovely red crimson neverack kind of color it looks beautiful uh, but you can see the walkways here were just dug in the ceiling really and this one goes out to uh, the place where i haven't built yet um, i probably won't soon who knows maybe i will maybe that's just absolutely useless but then we join this area here where it's slightly larger now the first one is this little corridor that goes off this was one of the ways that i got down from the never originally and we go over there and that actually meets the floor and then ever and i started picking up materials but this way was my first ice road and if we join it along the bottom here you can see where i haven't quite got round to dismantling it properly uh, but this was a ladder going up and down and this was a ice road so if we speed this up you can see where we went all the way along and i really probably should clear this i should imagine who knows and this is at the other end. And I'll show you this. If you look down this gap here, you can see wh where we just were. And that was the hub where we just were with the dragon's head. You can see that this would have been sand. I dropped sand all the way down there. And it would have been a ladder that goes all the way down into the end portal, which is below that. That's how I used to get to the end. And that's kind of my Never Hub, guys. And I think you'll agree that it looks a million times better now. And if you would like to know a bit more about transportation in Never, how much faster it is and how to join up your portals, then do drop a comment below and I will put together a tutorial and we'll try and do something like that in the future. The last thing I want to show you is this in NVIDIA RTX Ray Tracing. And this pack here is called Kelly's RTX, and it's one of my new favourites. Although I do like the vanilla RTX, I think this makes it look amazing. You can see the glass now doesn't have the lines of the frames. It's, it's completely joined glass. The light reflects off the floor. Um, it even being blocked out by the stained glass. The lava kind of glows, the portal glows, and it kind of makes it a lot more dark and sinister. The floor here glows as well with the light and this looks amazing and that about does it for the never hub as you can see it's really vast and it was a big project and if that's inspired you at all please do hit that subscribe button do like follow share it'd be much appreciated so remember build like no one's watching and i'll catch you soon